Good morning to all of my colleagues who are present here. As I have been given the task of giving a lecture that how you can write a research paper. And being a teacher, since you and me are having <coughs> an experience of our classes, of our teaching, as well as of watching or seeing anything which we are facing in the classroom or outside. And for a teacher, when I am saying a teacher, it means he is in the process of learning at every stage. Though he is full of knowledge, even though being a teacher, if I am in the class, I learn something every day from the, my students. And I add to in my knowledge that to us. But since today I have been given only half an hour to speak on my topic, so I will restrict myself. First of all, when we are thinking about to write a research paper, definitely our mind activates and try to, because everything is lying in our simple computer. As and when we think that I or you wish to write a paper which is meant for the research, then automatically the thought comes in your mind and this monitor reflects the things which you are having in your thought and you wish to write on which subject or which topic. So selection of the topic of the research paper is most important. And to my mind, the researcher chooses the topic which is of his own interest or which is he wished that it is a challenge for me to write something on this particular issue. Or the topic which he himself accepts that yes, I must write on this new topic which is valuable to me as well as the um, teaching fraternity at all. So to choose a topic, it is an important task for a researcher. What type of topic you choose, it all depends upon your interest, upon your subjects, upon your knowledge which you have possessed, which you have. So to my mind, every teacher should, first because he is writing a paper, so he must have command over the subject, the topic which he has chosen. Most of the teachers here present are belonging to the arts faculty or the commerce faculty or science faculty. So I advise them to choose the only the topic which is in of your interest of the topic which he belongs to. That the faculty which they belong to because they have command over that. So the topic must be an interesting topic so that you have the courage to say something and to add something to the topic which you wish to research. Then the second point that the topic you have chosen of the one sentence or what it may be. But that topic must speak itself to what you want to do too what you want to do on that particular, that speaks, title of the topic should speak itself. After getting the chosen of the topic, you are, you must have the information regarding to that topic. So the information from, there are so many sources of getting the information and presently the web pages or the online 
research articles and presently even my scholars are doing the same job of getting this and that and earlier times when i was pursuing my phd mahai bai professor m c dekarvi from delhi i was just smiling i was having no pain she advised me to go to because my topic of phd was international labor organizations 